can see how it lines up with the green marks and stuff like that. It looks like Also lines up over here. You can just tell a little bit um, that round area right here. It almost looks like it's something folded over. site needs to rotate is what it needs to do but that's okay I'm gonna move to the next step which is this see I'm moving it over rotating the planet As I line this up area right here with Africa, you can see how it fits the, you see the green area and then you got this tan area, this desert. Well, it's kind of weird that, that the desert area would be matching this area. It makes me wonder what causes deserts. I know that, that they claim rain shadows cause deserts, but in this case I think there's something more at work here. And I bet you it's electromagnetic. But, okay, so as I line this up here, I want you to look here down to the southern part of Africa. And you'll see that this area lines up with this. As all this is lining up here. So I want to take a straight on shots of these areas and see what's going on. Okay, so that's what I've done right here. This is that area that was lining up here. You can almost see that it probably rotates around. But I also noticed that here is the Hawaiian Island chain. And I, since this is moving through, I wanted to point out something. They say the Hawaiian island chain is made by hot spots. Now, you see that this lines up here. And I'm positive this, these marks line up with the features underneath. something like this okay so just bear with me for a second now I know that let me move this one out see how it, you can see how it lines up here with with Africa I claim that the Hawaiian Island chain was made by spinning and rotation, not by hot spots. Now I showed before that this lines up here with Africa, right? The tip here. Like that. That's that curve mark right there.
Let's turn this off. One of these layers off. You can see how that fits into there. The spinning is throwing debris off. This is following the lines that are leading out. See how this fits into here? And then you can see these dots following the features right there. As again, this is over here, you can see it's lining up with this. So it makes me think that this, uh, this is either a double layer or this folds. This is basically closing up this open area right here. You see how the Pacific Ocean, this is basically closing it up to smaller when it lines up here. And then, but Africa is here also. notice though is that Australia is over here and this is on the back side of Australia right here Okay, I wanted to point out here, okay, when this lines up here with the Hawaiian Island chain and stuff like that, you look over here and you can see what looks like Australia and then a second image of this. I think this is because I think this rolls completely around back into here. I think this is unrolled. So we got that like that, so then this rolls back up to here. You can see that it's starting to turn. And I can tell that it is. I, I just know that this is rotating. Okay, so like that. So this is rotating around. When it does you can see that it's starting to fit into here let me get rid of this see how this is see how this is starting to fit into here the Hawaiian Island see take a look at the Hawaiian Island chain see how it fits into there take the Hawaiian Island chain out. You can see this. Here, let's take the other Africa out. You can see how it fits into here. Look. Face 
face right here. See how it's, it's the same shape. Even looks like that fits right into there. Matter of fact, this whole thing right here looks like it's wrapping around Tasmania. As if maybe it's twisting it off. Let me see here. Now let me just show you with Africa. See, here's the peninsula right here of Australia. Okay, I wanted to point out on Africa. You see how this comes to a point right there, and then it does it again right here. Okay, I want you to watch those areas as I bring in this overlay of Australia but the neg negative image of it so that it's easier to see. You can see as I bring it in, it lines up with that first one right there. Exactly. Right there. Looks like it even moves back and forth. But then it also lines up again right here. As it does, you can see that this lines up with the the tip here of Africa. But if you look in the background, you can see the shape right here. Lining up in here. See it? Right there. See? It kind of looks like, like it matches up with the markings, too. See that right there? This line right here too. This almost looks like it. Well, it does. It. Uh, this looks like it goes the other way and matches up. But for now, it lines up with these things right here. So you see how that how that supports one another. The other thing I noticed is that. Um, Tasmania fits right on the tip here. It looks like it's been ripped off, actually. And then what I noticed is that this looks like it actually folds around to the back side and lines up with the tip again of Africa. that when this lines up here you can see that if I just move these around a little bit you can see that they are related to these features in the background they have to be Let's see
there's this option. See how that lines up there? And then, then this folds around and lines up there. And that's the tip of Africa that got ripped off. See how it matches in here? And then look as this comes in. With this right here. I think this is saying that this just rolls around, wraps around. Remember I was saying that, uh, that Hawaii is the result of spinning? What happens if all this spins around Hawaii? If Hawaii unspun all this? Thanks for watching. I didn't show you the best though. There's the other direction that this goes to. That that's it's pretty good. You guys aren't gonna want to miss it.